get a lot of questions about these trees and, and what what's the measurements to make these trees and it really doesn't matter it's all about certain aspect ratios so I just want to simplify this and make it so that you can understand it the angles are all 45 degrees so it doesn't matter every angle is 45 degrees except for this which is 22 and a half degrees on the bottom the distance from here to here on this cut affects the length of this leg you want this leg to be the same distance from here to the point minus that so no matter what thickness your wood is this this will change with the thicker or thinner wood but you just take that distance right there off of the full length of this side to get this side and then you can see that that lines up roughly with the, I call this the toe and the heel of the cut. This toe lines up with the heel of this cut. And you want your outside to fall generally right out here in this area of this. It doesn't matter how long it is. And I use this little block when I'm building it as a spacer so I don't have to guess and so when I put that together I'll stick that that block in uh, like that and I'll glue the area of this board that sticks above my spacer block and I'll stick hold it together and I'll shoot two little micro pins 23 gauge nails which you can see but I glue and those nails are just holding it like a clamp so I don't have to waste time clamping my project and then they're all the same it doesn't matter I just keep them all the same so then you end up with a symmetrical tree. Now the bottom, half of 45 is 22 and a half. So that's where that angle comes from. You want the bottom block to be roughly a third of the distance, just for aspect ratio and for stability. You don't want the tree to fall over. And so to give yourself a good base you want roughly a third of that distance. And I use again a spacer block. So I figured out how long my blocks are and I measured the distance from here to here after and I uh, subtract this and then I divide it in half and then I made a block so this block I shoot my base onto this beam before I assemble it and I use this block obviously on there to center it just to speed things up so I don't have to measure every time I want to install that block and so that's centered it's the same same distance and this is just a, a jig for putting it together and I glue it and I put a couple of pin nails in it to hold it while the glue dries and in the end all I have to do is line that point up with the heel and and shoot it, line that point up with the heel and shoot it, and I glue everything. And so you come out with a nice tree.
that's as simple as it gets.